All right. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Happy Saturday. Yeah, we've already had a full day here, and you've just been outside. We live on a on seventeen acres, yeah. and Sean has been outside with the boys and her her parents, helping to uh, clean the land up. We got a graduation party coming up here. Well, also, it's it's been about two years since we've done any like tree management. <laughs> yeah, and we live in Central Texas, which is like a very um, windy place and we live on the top of a hill so it gets very windy so we've here. lost a lot yeah. of trees so yeah. we're just going around picking stuff up trying to race against the rain that's coming later which is oh, a, a rain's good, coming yeah it's good oh thing. okay good. we're we're the type of people now we've hit that point in our life where we talk about the weather <laughs> we talk about the chores around yeah. the farm uh-huh so you've been running around. You've already said you got in maybe Most, two miles I, of running. I picked up less branches than uh -huh. I did run from like one front, like the front of the property to the back of the property, uh -huh. trying to just relay messages because we also don't carry, you can't hear cell phones above chainsaw anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I like run from the bottom of the hill, run to the top of the hill. I'm sweating. I'm in my work clothes. Yes. And, and for me, I try to avoid any saws of any type you know, when I can because I don't want to cut a finger off because I'm a little clumsy. Who was it? Uh, Tina Turner. <laughs> her legs were like insured. I don't know if it was her. I think it was the lady on Entertainment Tonight. Lisa Gibbons, maybe. I don't know. I thought Tina Turner because she, she did might those. have done it too. Remember the pantyhose commercials that Tina Turner did? Oh, yeah. In the like 80s. Okay. Early <clears throat> 90s. Anyway, maybe maybe we should insure your fingers. Okay. And your hands. <laughs> maybe so. <laughs> I don't know. I can't read the comments. That's too oh, far Oh, there's for comments. Me. I forgot about the comments. Okay. I can see them. I made it bigger. Wooter. I want my old friend Wooter. Uh, hello, Sean and Shauna. Good to see you again. Good to see you again, old friend. Uh, it's great. I can't remember what country Wooter is from. Uh, yeah, maybe know. he can tell us. Hold on. For whatever what? reason, I did not touch it. It went. It's going black. Hmm? Oh, it's not black up there. Let me see it. I know. It's like it. New equipment, guys. If if we're black. Yeah. Just we, hang we shouldn't with be us. because it's not black well, up I know, there. But know. I don't know why it won't let me change. <laughs> we <Okay>. have <clears throat> we have new cameras. I I guess you went over this in the other live. I wasn't even home. Okay. Well it's not gonna fix. I have to turn the switcher off in, or, in order for it to reconnect. Unless it connects on its own. So what I can, I can do go back to the I can no I can do it from here. Uh -huh. Um, did you did you tell everybody about our new e equipment? The last slide I have, um, maybe I did. Yeah, so we've got new cameras and new everything. Really, a new switcher and everything. What's great about it is everything is compatible, works together. Mm -hmm. So you know, it automatically just works. And uh, there's no lag between audio and video, which was, you know, always always a problem when you're trying to do stuff like this. And uh, the live streaming and everything was really easy to set up. I mean, it just works. And if you've ever tried to do this stuff and you're not real techie, you know, I'm a little bit, but um, it's really frustrating to try to get everything to work because just one thing can go wrong and it, it screws up and everything else. <clears throat> I'm not techie. <laughs> or patient so yeah. that's not a good combo so uh tim johnson says i mean this view is fine for a while i can change it when you need to but tim johnson says blessings for you and your you and your uh thank you tim you as well thank you Tim. Um, yeah wooters from the netherlands that's right that's right um tim says new studio looking and sounding great thanks we yes we went <laughs> for a definite uh vibe yes yeah, so <laughs> you know if you can't tell we're going for the 70s and if you don't think it's 70s which my oldest son doesn't <laughs> he says he, he doesn't, doesn't get that vibe liter he literally knows nothing He's <laughs> yeah every pretty much every piece in here is actually from the 70s <clears throat> what it's, does he know it's not you know something we got to try to look like the 70s it's, it's actually from the 70s the picture behind Shauna it that literally we found. says 77. Yes. If you come to Waco for Magnolia, a lot of people come here now for their vacations. Make sure you check out Central. Central Goods. Central Goods, because they have a, it's not just an antique shop. But it's, you've never seen an antique shop like this. It's, it's just really more, interesting pieces that they have. <clears throat> you know, a lot of antique shops around Waco fit the Magnolia vibe, you know, like country chic. Yeah. I don't know. What the, I don't know. This is like more quirky stuff. 
Which fits my vibe a little more. <laughs> but there's just things that you'd never see, you know, in that shop, it seems like. Um, so the title of this is actually New Hired Request. So I wanted to give you just a uh, taste of this. See if anybody knows this song. Okay, this is a band. And if nobody gets it, then I'll give it some clues. But I feel like that first chord you just played might have given it away. Maybe because I maybe because I know what it is. I don't think so. I don't think you know this song. Okay. Because uh, I just learned it. I just a piece of it. <laughs> it like means nothing. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you know a lot more music than I do. Um, so if you can't guess this song, then I'll, I'll give you a clue. But see if you can. This is a live version I saw on YouTube, uh, and someone is has already hired me to do this. So I'm going to start working on it today. Uh, and I also want to start really connecting with you guys as much as I can personally with people. So we're going to try to, This uh, Ryan is a longtime member of the website, longtime follower of my lessons. And he's agreed, you know, if we can make it work, to uh, have him be on the, you know, the part one video that we put on. So and we'll get to hear him talk his experience with, with music and piano, with learning, with webpianoteacher.com. And just, you know, it'd be neat to hear from a veteran, right? Because a lot of times they have tips and stuff that I don't think also, of. Also, I love learning songs and, like, playing songs. But I think what interests me more is, like, why somebody picks a song yeah. that they pick for Sean to do. Like, there's got to be a story. There's got to be a reason. There's got to be more than just, like, oh, it's a cool song, which, I mean, is a good enough reason. But Yeah. You know, I, re I really wish I would have kept a library of some of the emails I get. Of some of the cool stories that people have. Yeah. Because I feel like I live such a boring life when I read the things that they've done and the things they've I experienced know. musically. I'm like, well, I was this and this. And I said, like, are you kidding me? Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, everybody just has really cool stories and things. And I'd like to get some of those stories from you guys. So anyway, here's a, a snippet of the live version of this song. So if you, if you know the band or you know the name of the song, put it in the comments. Okay, here we go. So there's the intro, and then singing starts after that. Um, and I don't know if that's like the original uh, album version or not. It's just a, a live version that um, is on YouTube. I'll give you more hints if nobody gets it. Okay, uh, Tim says, any teasers on upcoming songs? Well, that was just the teaser. I just did it. <laughs> so there we go, Tim. Um, yeah, so play a little bit again. G chord, C chord, A half diminished, G. And F sharp, C, F, D. And I'm using, um, I, I like to start telling you guys, you know, what I'm doing, because I'm, I'm uh, use different sounds sometimes, and I won't let you know what I'm using. And I can do that now because with our old audio system, which I, which I love, which was great for the time, but if ever I changed a sound, it would start peaking and have just all kinds of problems. So I never changed sounds, but this, the way the audio is here, kind of automatically adjusts to whatever I'm doing. So uh, this is a Kawhi MP11 SE. Love this keyboard. I'm, I won't go on and on about it right now, but uh, I'm using one of the bank sounds. It's on the right here, and it's... Uh, the third, whatever the third choice is in bank A. <laughs> it just sounds like a lot of the stuff they use. And you can tell when you're going through these sounds, uh, oh, they, they they had this song in mind when they did this, this keyboard okay, sound. Okay, I was about to, well, there's a couple of comments. Okay, so uh, Avudra says, let it be good guess, because it's a yeah. chord, you know. And the, um, uh, the keyboard sound. Yeah. And then um, kind of sounds piano-y a little bit. That he said <clears throat> it has a bit of a Beeble, oh my gosh, Beatles Beetle, Beetle, vibe. Beatles. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So that's a good guess because Beatles is. But I, I love this sound. It's the third third one, Bank A, um, and just a lot of songs use that. And I like because you play a little softer and you get more of a, a sustained. Choral Got sound, another. and then you can play a little louder. Go. Maybe my headphones are a little loud. <laughs> Jim yeah. said, "I love you just the way you are, Billy Joel." That's not what it is, but 
Yeah, let's see. Again. Oh, you got the sound. The so keyboard maybe your sound yeah. is like. <laughs> Yeah, whatever this, those of you who are real knowledgeable, I'm not real knowledgeable of what they're called. I can hear and go, oh, that's that keyboard sound. And I don't know if it's yeah. a, a Fender Rhodes or a Wur Wur Wurlitzer or something with a, you know, amp crank, uh, distortion cranked up on it or something. But uh, some of you, if anyone knows the name of that sound, let's hear it. But yeah, that was good. I just love that we can draw these connections, like, between songs. Don't go. Change probably all same ish yeah. era, yeah. Beatles are is a little earlier, yeah. And you know, what's so cool to me is that you know, we're what 40 years out of all that time, and and we're still copying those old sounds. How can I how can I sample this to get it to sound like these sounds from the okay. 50s, 60s, 70s? Play, play the song again, okay. The one that we're guessing, I will, but finish my thought. Oh, I'm sorry, that we're nobody, I, mean, I guess people are still inventing new sounds, but we're still drawing from those old sounds. We want the old keyboard sounds for and it's like that that little space of time is where we get all the good stuff like you, you like know? what you like yeah you know what i mean all right here it is again uh oh, super, super tramp. tramp good guess because a lot of good keyboard stuff in that and i'm sure that they use this sound i'm thinking of a, a song right now yes all right here's the song again and again i don't know if the album version sounds like this or not but this is how the live version sounds i'll give a clue in a minute So that's the intro to it. So uh, I will give a clue since nobody's uh, I, guessed it yet. I don't know it. Okay, let's see. The clue is. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good one. Uh, well, okay. Too. The person singing in the video is also a drummer. That ought to do it. Well, maybe not. I can think of a couple of. Yeah, don't you guess, but. <laughs> but I can think of more than one band. Okay, that yeah. That could be the case. Yeah, right. Yeah, the, the person singing is also a drummer, the drummer. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. So, and I love these live versions because, you know, you get stuff you don't get in the album versions a lot of times. So a lot of times Bill performers Collins. will. You got it, but it, yeah, it's, oh. it's Genesis, but <laughs> okay. yes. Good, that did there it. I he knew did it. He would did get it. it. Good job, Wooter. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, he put them both. He wanted to cover all his bases. Phil Collins, Genesis Band. Yes, the song is called Afterglow. Um, and I don't know what that means in the song, but I, I know what it used to mean when I was a kid, an afterglow. <laughs> did you ever have an afterglow? You never heard of that? An afterglow party? I don't know. Okay, well, it was something after you'd have... You know, a full day or something, then you'd have an afterglow, some some uh, some kind of little party at night or something. I just remember. I just that. like to go home. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the high request that's coming up, and if you look it up on YouTube, just look up Afterglow Genesis live version. You'll see it. It's Phil on bongos, playing really softly. You can barely hear him on the video, but and then uh, I guess his keyboard guy is playing with cool. him. Yeah. So that's what's coming up for a high request. And uh, for the Zoom lesson that I'm doing, because I'm going to start trying to do those, and I'm saying trying because I haven't actually done one yet. I got one today <laughs> uh, at uh, 1 o'clock. I have a Zoom lesson with um, a guy from, what did I say? It was Scotland. From? Scotland, yes, Scotland. And uh, so he, I'm six hours earlier, and he's six hours later. Uh, but we're going to try We're going to do this song right here, see if anybody, I almost said it. Glad I didn't say it. Okay, so here I have the, this is another reason I love this keyboard. I have, because everything you just punch in. I hate having a menu and you got to have this wheel and you got to scroll through and find all your sounds. I like it because they have it where you can physically touch and, and uh, do the sounds really quickly. But I have the pop piano on. The concert piano is a little um, uh, heavy in the middle. So the pop piano sounds a lot brighter. And if I want to add a little strings, I just turn on the strings bank and I do this. Just a little bit, little strings behind it. I don't have to look for a piano string sound, though they do have piano string sounds on here, layered. Um, I can just mess with the strings, and I can turn them up or turn them down. 
as I want for the mix to sound right. So, uh, speaking of Phil Collins, says Tim, uh, still waiting for Don't Let Him Steal Your Heart Away. Ah, well, maybe that'll be a, a request upcoming sometime. Um, Russell says hello. And Russell, there he is. He's the the hired request guy, unless he has the exact same name <laughs> as it, someone it else. Could be. Could be. Yeah, I'm, I grew up with a Russell Campbell. Uh, in school, so maybe that's the Russell Campbell. Yeah, he's a bit of a jerk, but <laughs> Sean, <laughs> not this Russell Campbell. No, I'm kidding. He he was he was a good friend. Uh, we were all jerks to each other. <laughs> yeah, I've seen so. high school boys together yeah. lately. All right, so it's uh, <laughs> hard to watch. Uh huh. So Mull of Kintyre for for the one in Scotland. Um, no, it's not. Though I have done that on the website. That's a good. Good pick there. I love that it's been you know so many years now because I have so many things on the website, a lot of things I don't even remember doing. Um, yeah, Mall of Kintyre. I know we're to the point now. If if somebody requests a song, you have to go back and make sure you haven't already done it. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna give the intro to this, and you should get it right away if you're a fan of this band. Here we go. I can't hear the strings. There we go. That's the that's how that's it starts. It? That's all you're giving? You should get it though. If I play the next part, you're sure to get it, but I don't okay. even I don't yeah, know. I'm gonna wait a second to see if somebody gets that. Because, you know, we got a, a sophisticated group of people here. In fact, a lot of you guys who are, are members of the website are just rockologists. They know the I names, know. they know the years, they know who's in the band for this long and who's out and what happened to the band and what they're doing now. It's just amazing. Yeah, because I don't even, I mean, we get on the podcast and we talk about all this stuff. Like yeah. we're, I just want to, disclaimer, we are not experts <laughs> at all. I just <clears throat> will read a couple of books, watch some YouTube videos. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. So um, nobody's guessed yet, but it is, I'll play a little more. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh, I like to do this. <laughs> no, the whistling doesn't go over. Anyway. Better right here. And it picks up. You know it? No. You don't? I'm gonna take the strings off for this. From a town known as Wheeling, West Virginia. Oh, I now it. I do. The strings were kind of throwing me off. Were they? I think so. Okay, so here's where the, the verse starts the singing. From a town known as Wheeling, West Virginia, rode a boy with a six gun in his hand. Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> then the legend in his tie, Western of the Rio Grande. I feel like you sound just like him. Colorado. All right, so I need to practice. <laughs> I need to, yeah, part of, um, I think what allows me to do this is because I haven't worked on this today. Obviously, I've I worked on it years ago. Um, but I, I can really absorb music really quickly. And so if I can go through it one or two times, then I can just, you know, all of a sudden I can have it. That's always been something... Um, Elton John? That's up that I've been able to do. Uh, no, not Elton John, but, uh, you know. Close guess. Yeah, they're kind of always linked together, Billy Joel, Elton John. Oops, I said, said it. it. I'm sorry. 
I knew I, I'm like Michael in the office. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm gonna say it. <laughs> if you watch The Office, you know what I mean. The American version. Yes, and I we have say. our little character, my characters up there. So I have I have my I shelf. Feel just full just, she not gave me my one shelf. Characters. Yeah, she gave me a little Are you little place. Me? There's two shelves. Okay, yeah, but you have most of your stuff on there, but. Oh, oh anyway, I have my little my little figurines, my collectibles. My stuff. <laughs> Books about okay. <laughs> so there's there's the office characters up there. So we love the office. So yeah. Little Michael Scott moment there. Um so I said it. Love the new keyboard, says Tim. Is it a mounted stand uh for that specific keyboard or a standard stand that you place it on? Looking looking at getting it. Well, Tim, I, I would say you can't go wrong with getting it. Um, it is uh, just a regular stand, and what's great, this keyboard is is really sturdy, which means kind of it's heavy. Yes, it's <laughs> and it's, very it's heavy. wide. So this is one drawback to the keyboard. If you're going to move around and you're the one moving the keyboard, um, it's pretty heavy. I would say it is not a gig no. keyboard. Although if I were doing gigs, but you would do it, and I had enough money, I would pay for it to be you know, packaged right and moved around because this is the only thing I want to play on. They have a case. Yeah, it's, they do have a case. It's yeah. like half the price of a keyboard. <laughs> well, there are some, some uh, other companies that make them for us all that make okay. them cheaper. Um, so that's the one drawback for me is that it's heavy and it's big, but I, it's also a plus for me. I like the stability because this thing don't move. I mean, well, it moved a little bit when I'm... Well, we have it on a carpet. It. It. Yeah, and I don't have a, a really high dollar sturdy stand. I just have a regular one of those X... You know, stand. You can see it in the in the video. It's not meant for this keyboard or anything, but it it stays where you put it. Where'd you get it? Guitar Center. Uh, no. It's the on oh the oh the stand the stand. Yeah, probably probably just a regular guitar stand. It's not one of the real the cheaper spindly ones. It's one of the heavier duty X stands. Um, but you know there are other ones you can buy that to make it sturdy. But man, for which you know you just set it on there and it's so heavy it's gonna stay. Uh, but I like the keyboard for four reasons. I'll say it real quickly. One, I like the action. The action is closer to, to the grand piano of anything. Nothing comes closer. In fact, they have an actual uh, mechanism in here that's actual hammers and wood that's you know moving up and down. You can feel that. Number two, I like it because the piano sounds are awesome. Even though we like other sounds, the piano is the one we always go back to. That we always want to play. Nobody has a better piano sampled sound than the Kawhi MP11, um, in my opinion. And third, I like it because... Uh, I'm not going to remember the fourth reason, but the third thing I like <laughs> is that uh, even though they don't have, you know, some of the sounds, you, you know, like organ sounds and some specific sounds you may want, they make it so easy to get other sounds. You can use your phone or your iPad to, to use a bank of sounds. You go right into the keyboard, uh, right back into the keyboard with a sound, and you, you're actually controlling the volume of these you know, thousands of other sounds with your kawaii instead of having to go to something else and control it. So they make it so intuitive. Oh, the fourth reason I like it is because, again, there's not a menu thing where you with a wheel and you got to scroll through. It's all right here. All the buttons, you can't see them because I got the, the monitor on here. But you can, can get quickly to what you want by just pushing a couple of buttons and you're there. So anyway, good choice, Tim. Um, Antonio says, hi, Sean. Hey, Anto Antonio. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. It has been a long time. <laughs> it has been a long time. Yeah, so the Zoom lesson I'm doing today, which when I get off, I'm going to brush up on it so I can <laughs> do better. It for, is 12.15. For Russell. Yeah, we're going to have to get off. But in a town only West Virginia. Somebody did guess uh, Ballad of Billy the Kid. In his hand. Good. Yeah, I didn't say the name of the song. Ba -da -da. So you have that Billy Joel fun stuff there. Then you have that beginning with the and and then in the middle, which I thought the middle part. We got to wrap it up here. Well, all of that stuff is mm -hmm. very. I thought he took that from Aaron Copeland, who was yeah, a, an American songwriter. And no, Billy Joel wrote that. And it's not like Aaron. He didn't. You know, take something that Aaron Copeland did and tra it just, he did so good at writing something orchestral that sounds just like mm -hmm. the greatest, you know, American composer, one of them, Aaron Copeland. So that's what's coming up for the Zoom lesson. And if Russell lets me do it, um, he, he didn't have to, but if he would, you know, let us record it and then upload it and, sh and show, you, show you guys what a Zoom lesson looks like. And how it works. We don't even know yet. Yeah, it's our first time trying <laughs> it. So um, if he doesn't want to do it, that's fine. But, you know, 
I think it'd be cool for people to see it. And I'm kind of enjoying the idea of getting in contact with individual people, individual members, individual people. And so the way this Zoom lesson will work, because we're getting uh, a couple of questions. Okay. Is Sean will, it'll be a private lesson for the person who set it up and pay for it. <laughs> it'll yeah. be their private lesson. Our hope is that he will be able to just record the entire lesson and then put it on the website for members to have yes. access to, yeah. to to view it more like a master class type of thing. That's the plan. That's the hope. Because a lot of times everyone's going to have pretty much the same problems, the same difficulties. And when those come up in the Zoom lesson, which they don't come up when I'm just teaching by myself, but if they come up with an actual person, then it's going to be really more relatable to uh, the mm -hmm. average person that's trying to learn. And most of the time we see if one person has the question, Probably like 50 other people have the same question. Hey, Antonio, um, I can't send you the link on Zoom. Sorry, because I am, you know, this is the way I make a living, and I'm, I am uh, charging to do the Zoom lesson. That's why I just went over all that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, but you'll have an opportunity. If you if you want to do it, I'll post again on, on how to do that. Uh, so. But we do hope to achieve with, with, people doing like a hired request, having uh -huh. them come on the part yes. one, you guys getting to be a part of that, getting to sample what that would be like. Right. So we want community. And the best way to have community is to have people actually sitting with you physically. But when you can't do that, we can still do it pretty good virtually and, and people can connect. And it just, I don't know, it just makes your whole experience better. And I mean, had it not been for what we've all been through in the last two years, we wouldn't be able to do Zoom as yep. easily because yep. it takes us a long time to jump yep. on. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, if we had to do this and we didn't have any comments here, it would be so flat and boring for me. But I love you guys are on here and I get to talk to you. Like right now, it's just, it just feels good, even though I can't even see your face. Um, so anyway, Antonio, if you want to do, do a request, I am taking some requests right now. You can send me your request as a YouTube link to easy piano lessons at yahoo.com. Just like it sounds, easy piano lessons at yahoo. Send me a YouTube link. The minimum price for a request is 300 That covers most things. The um, well, songs, the price for a Zoom lesson uh, right now is $100 an hour. Uh, if I start doing multiple people, um, may in the future, we for, haven't worked for this lessons, out yet. we haven't worked it out. You know, the price may be a little different. I don't know yet. But we're just starting. We'll let you know how it goes. And even though I put a sign on our door yeah, that says we're live filming, people are walking in. Well, I, I said this, before, you know, on the other left, because Jono just walked in. I actually had him come here and solve a cube on the on the on one of the live streams. Um, you just can't keep the kids out. They're going to, as soon as you start doing something that you want to do, they're going to show up because they just can sense it. I know. <laughs> All right, anything else? Uh, James says he loves us. We love, we you, love you, James. <laughs> Thank you for, for tuning in. We're going to do more live streams, so <clears throat> pay attention. You know, we're we're going to... I'd like to say we're going to do them at a certain day and time, but we're really terrible about that. Yeah, we don't know yet. But one way to make yourself do it is to actually, you know, post it. <laughs> You're going to do it or, or uh, you know, do it ahead of time. <clears throat> Get the YouTube link ready. Yeah. Okay, so um, that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing... Uh, well, we just did the live stream here. I'm doing a Zoom lesson, see how it goes, and uh, we'll be in touch with, with how it goes and how you can view that. And we should finally have a uh, <coughs> podcast coming out oh, fairly yes. soon. Yes, I've been, another Michael Scott thing, I've been, people know something's coming, but I haven't told them yet. Oh, I, so, so I did the Michael Scott thing? No, I did. No, oh. where, where I've, I've almost had that moment where I wanted to just spill the beans exactly what we're doing, but I haven't. Okay, for the well. podcast. Well, they don't know what's coming. I know. That's what I've been oh, okay. having trouble not saying. We don't communicate <laughs> before we start these things. Yeah. Like I said, I was... Slice of life. I right. was outside. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just zone out and I don't hear large parts of conversations. So... <laughs> I wish I could get the close-up camera on my face. It's like confirmation of 19 years of marriage just finally <laughs> came to fruition. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, okay. We'll see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day with music in your life. Bye, Talk guys. Bye-bye.